All right, in this geek tip, I'm going to show you how to reset the Internet Explorer in Windows. Now, uh, the Internet Explorer and the Internet Properties have not changed very little since Windows 98. So, basically, it's all going to look about the same. So, uh, you know, IE has been included in uh, Windows since Windows 98 for free. You know, you had to pay for it before then, but uh, yeah. So best way and easiest way to get there is to uh, get into the control panel uh, you can do it inside the Internet Explorer itself but uh, it'll tell you that it can't do some of the, the operations because it's actually open so uh, basically we want to get into the control panel uh, you're running Windows 7 Windows Vista Your easiest way to do get there is just type in control panel and you'll be able to bring it up this way Windows 8 Windows 10 right click on the start menu button start button and uh, go to control panel so basically if you're viewing by category you're gonna go to network and internet if you're viewing by large icons you're just going to go to internet options so we'll, we'll go back to category and go through network and internet now we're gonna go to internet options so all right, let's slide this over a little bit. Okay, the first place we want to go to is browsing history. Now, we can actually remove quite a bit of the garbage that Internet Explorer picks up by going here. Uh, by default, you know, we have our temporary internet files, cookies, and history are going to be deleted. Uh, you can delete and, and check, you know, the download history, form data, passwords, all the stuff you can select it all. But remember, once you delete it, it's gone. So if you've got a, a password that you haven't changed in a long time and, you know, the Internet Explorer has been remembering it for you and you delete the password, you're going to have to re, in, you know, re, uh, re input all the passwords for all of your sites. So, you know, select that one with dire care because once it's deleted, you can't get it back so let's go ahead we're just gonna click on delete and we'll let it run its process there's really nothing in there to, to delete so let's go next over to programs okay next place we want to go to is manage add-ons uh, this is where you'll find uh, a lot of add-ons that uh, are put in here uh, shockwave flash uh, antivirus add-ons and whatnot um, you know, as you can see, we don't have anything in here. I've been, I've keep this pretty much clean. I don't really use Internet Explorer except for some Microsoft sites actually require me to use Internet Explorer. So, but this is where it would be. Normally, you can't delete any of the items in here. Uh, all you can do is enable and disable. Okay. So in that case, you know, if you really want to get rid of an add-on, I always recommend get a copy of CC Cleaner. C Cleaner. You can go to Tools, Startup. It actually will clean out any any of the installed browsers you have in the system. So you want to get rid of it, and it's inside the Internet Explorer, C Cleaner, the way to go. So. There's our add-ons. We've got those all cleared up. Let's go over to advanced. First thing we want to do here is restore advanced settings. We click on it. We're going to rest restore all these settings here back to their out-of-the-box defaults. But you have to remember you have to click on apply to get it to do that. Okay. Second, we're going to go to reset here. This is going to reset Internet Explorer back to its totally, totally back to its defaults. Okay, I'm going to disable all this stuff. It's going to disable all the toolbars and the add-ons. It will not remove them. It will disable them. So if you want to remove them completely, remember go to C Cleaner, get rid of them. Boom, that's it. Um, you click on the, you check the personal settings box. Here we go again. It's going to get rid of everything it's going to get rid of all your passwords it's going to get rid of all the saved data so use that cautiously you know when in doubt don't do it if you need to you can always come back in and uh, 
and, and select that and, and do it. So we're going to do ahead and reset. Basically that closes the internet options box down. One thing I want to want you to, to pay note to is if you have a banking site or a secure site after you do this if you have a banking site or a secure site that you cannot get into with Internet Explorer go over here bring up your internet properties again go to the security tab enable protected mode I've had quite a few clients that after I've cleaned up their Internet Explorer they weren't able to get to banking sites they weren't able to get in I had to instruct them go into security and deselect the enable protected mode for some reason this feature when you go to a bank website and they have content that's not on that exact same domain it may be on a subdomain of the the same bank you know say let's say chase you know they got some content over on server one dot chase and server two dot chase if you're logging into chase directly you've got this enabled it will not allow you to bring in data from another even if it's a subdomain of the same domain itself it won't allow you to do it so if you're having problems after you reset the Internet Explorer go in there and deselect the enable protected mode hit apply that should fix your problem right there so other than that um, there's the last thing you can do and it normally and you know, when it comes to programs you can uninstall it uh, but Internet Explorer is tightly wound up with the operating system Internet Explorer is a feature not a program but a feature of Windows so the only thing you can do is turn that feature off sadly if you're using an email program like Outlook or Windows Mail these programs require the Internet Explorer rendering engine to display HTML formatted email so technically the Internet Explorer you know, will need to be on or the feature will need to be turned on but you can reset it back to really kind of the way it comes out of the box completely I mean completely just by turning off the feature shutting it restarting the computer and then putting it back in okay and so we're in the uh, control panel let's go to uninstall program okay over here we see turn windows features on or off if we select that we'll bring it up and we'll actually see Internet Explorer 11 now this is Windows 10 so you know it may be Internet Explorer 9 or 10 or whatever whatever version of Internet Explorer is inside your computer this is where you're going to turn that feature off you turn it off you restart your computer when it comes back on you turn it back on again and bam it'll be I mean just completely and totally reset to to factory default so and uh, with that that's the way you uh, completely reset and clean clean up reset and, and you know put IE back to its original default out of the box brand new showroom quality clean as a you can get kind of uh, form so for more geek tips go on over to geeksandphoenix.com We'll hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you later.